For the balcony part, I will be using the same elements again to block that out. Before that, I will choose the lower box and go into vertex mode and I'm going to select all the vertices at the bottom except the top ones and press R on my keyboard and slightly scale it on the x-axis in my perspective viewport because I feel like the if the balcony is coming out it should be falling somewhere here and I should have enough space for that maybe just slightly more and this should do the job turn off the vertex mode and now I will select the top part here including the planks and this box and hold shift and drag it on the x-axis to bring it outward hit ok and now I will select these planks uh, I call them planks because I consider them planks actually and I will right click and convert that into editable poly and go to element mode and just making sure I select this, these two at the back and delete them because I don't need them and for these two I will set the pivot point again for this box part I have some extra segments but that shouldn't be a problem for the moment or maybe I'll just solo this out go to edge mode and these two edges are selected I'll just hold control backspace and for this one I will double click here and hold control double click here press control backspace to remove any unwanted edges and then unhide everything again and with these two being also selected by pressing control and clicking on these planks I will slightly scale it invert now I'm just trying to look into the reference image so I see that it's inside uh, these two planks on the side and this balcony fell somewhere between them so let's just try to fix that it should be slightly narrowed and also it has to be lower because it's below this plank here so we'll just move it inward here so we're kind of good to go just double checking it's still lower than that and then I will solo this out and go to edge mode and select these edges and just showing you which edges I'm talking about it's this one right click hit connect and this time I will reduce the segments to one and no pitch amount pinch amount and that shouldn't actually affect anything hit OK and then go to vertex mode and selecting these vertices though I cannot see the one at the back but that shouldn't be a problem and lowering this down I just have to make sure how much space this is taking so it's somewhere in the middle and it should be slightly lower than that it should be somewhere in the middle and it looks fine to me now turning off the vertex mode selecting the planks press R on my keyboard and scaling it down and just fixing it here and this actually looks good the other thing I will again choose this box just make a copy and hit OK and scale it down bring it down and just trying to place it here now I see that it's actually going out of the house portion or the edge of this house here or the building structure so I have to get it back in because if I look into the reference it should be somewhere on the last plank which I believe will be somewhere here so I'll just force it back and it should be covering I guess this much area and I also see that the, there isn't much of a space coming out from this section so considering that I would do the same just taking it inward maybe slightly out and for this part I will go with the vertex mode and just press F3 to see my wireframe and making sure I select all the vertices at the lower area of this box and then just moving it down now I am in better position to see where it actually falls plus this plank last plank will be slightly outside the edge so I think this is perfect location for that for the top part I will again select these two polygons and hit 
detach here and making sure detach as clone hit OK and selecting that part and center to object setting the pivot and then applying a shell modifier to it going back to editable poly mode vertex and select the, these vertices too and slightly taking it out here so I have to check with my reference image it's still inside the these planks right so I have to make sure that it stays that way so I won't take it out too much just slightly and similarly this part here remember it's the blocking phase so I'm not paying too much attention on how the shape is coming along at the moment I will again select everything here and scale it invert okay and this looks pretty fine to me we can adjust that later just maybe slightly taking it out again and again going to the vertex mode moving it down so I should have some space which I believe it has very slight of space in front of it and then for these part these planks here I can use exactly the same one or maybe just take any of this plank so any of these planks would do the job but we're going to create that portion in the next video